transversely, which is crosswise across the esophagus and the duodenum. Make a longitudinal or lengthwise incision along the stomach so that you can open it and view the inside. There are two important valves in the stomach. The cardiac sphincter, which is located at the anterior end, and the pyloric sphincter valve, which is located at the posterior end. These valves open and close to allow food into and out of the stomach. There's your Cardiac. So this one came from the duodenum. That's the cardiac sphincter. And this is the pyloric sphincter. So it's heading. Um, this one actually came from the esophagus. This one's heading into the duodenum. We can open it. these little rolls in there make the noise when your stomach is growling. They're called rugae. Next we're going to remove the small intestines. When we remove it, we're go carefully going to cut the mesentery so that the intestine can be stretched and measure measured. Note, the arteries located in the mesentery are called mesenteric arteries. Here's your small intestine. And we're only going to do a little bit, but you need to pull apart all the mesentery tissue and arteries and measure the small intestine. Using your ruler, measure it in centimeters. Okay. Um, next, we're going to be going to the urinary and the reproductive system. Um, First thing we need to do is locate the kidneys. The kidneys are the tubes for urine. These are the ureters. The ureters carry urine to the urinary bladder, which lo is located between the umbilical vessels. parts. If it's a male, you need to find the, scr the scrotal sacs at the posterior end of the pig, which would be right there. The testes are located in each sac. You'll need to open the scrotal sac to locate the testes. But since this pig is female, we're going to locate two bean-shaped ovaries. These are found just posterior to the kidneys. The ovaries are connected to the fallopian tubes, or actually the uterine horns. These carry eggs from the ovaries to the uterus. The uterus is dorsal to the urinary bladder. Oh. 
open into a common area called the urogenital sinus. We'll need to cut through the pig's sternum to expose his chest cavity, which is also called his thoracic cavity, or hers, actually. Um, look at the diagram to make your incisions. You'll need to cut all the way up into the pig's neck, almost to the chest, and open the thoracic cavity. And then we'll identify each of the following organs. Tonight, where 